Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Dan. And we are once again going into Quantum Break. Oh, wow. Everything's starting to really culminate here. Uh, Jack is a uh, Monarch HQ on the way to take out, uh, take the CFR, otherwise known as the countermeasure. Uh, we found out that Hatch was once a uh, shifter, a time ghost thing. He had time powers all along, and he took out a whole bunch of Monarch guards. It was He was taken out by um, Liam fighting for when they were fighting for the, uh, the CFR, and then Liam was taken out of the, the game off the board by Jack, who is now in the CFR chamber. And uh, hopefully, uh, what I thought was an autosave actually was an autosave. We will find out momentarily. Hopefully, this is actually the case, and we just continue on from the CRF CFR chamber. If not, I apologize that we have to do all of it over again, and I will hopefully remember to cut all of that out just to get back to where we were. But we will see in a moment. Hopefully. Don't crash. There we go. Yep, we were right where we left off. There'd been some kind of struggle in the chamber. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems to be that kind of work environment. Yeah, I forgot. Charlie got taken out, too. He was actually trying to do what was right and not thinking about himself and being selfish for once. Personal notes on the CFR. All right. What is this gonna say? Oh, it's by Dr. Henry Kim. He was the, the lead researcher on the Cronon stuff at uh, Monarch. This thing feels like a conundrum wrapped in a puzzle. It's an incredible piece of technology and I feel like we're only scratching the surface of what it can do. And we have already learned so much. I thought I had a good understanding of the intricacies of the Corona Particles and their practical applications before. Now I realize that I've still got a great deal to learn. The Cronon Field Regulator, as I've decided to call it, is a little miracle. How such a small device can do so much is beyond me. I know it taps into the Meyer Joyce Field, but I don't know how. My experiments just show it can do it. It can also manipulate the field. I wish I knew how. Still, the mechanics of the if its operations give me ideas. New avenues of thought I've been trying to find for such a long time. The task that I've been set by Mr. Serene has frankly stumped me for years, knowing that what we observe as the passage of time is just the result of corona particles being constantly generated within the Meyer Joyce field is a simple fact that I've been aware of for a long time. But being able to manipulate those particles in a meaningful way, well that's another question. The mechanics of the situation are clear, almost frustratingly so. In a zero-state environment, there are no chronon particles, and thus time is frozen. The idea of artificially flooding an area with chronon particles to enable the passage of time is the obvious solution. But actually finding a way of doing that, that's something else. Not only are chronon particles incredibly difficult to source, so obtaining enough to actually stutter-proof an area for any time longer than a fraction of a second has always seemed impossible. Perhaps even more importantly, the mechanism of manipulating the particles in a way that would actually allow me to define a certain volume of space as stutter-proofed has constantly eluded me. While Ground Zero has solved the former problem for us, we're almost up and running, and very soon we will have the ability to harvest corona particles at useful rates. We'll be able to build a truly formidable stockpile of them in the years to come. And as for the latter problem, manipulating the corona particles, that seems to be something the CFR does with ease. Its ability to tap into the Meyer Joyce field and affect changes in its topology is exactly what I need. Unfortunately, I don't know how it does it. I don't have a clue. I don't know how to effectively control these effects. But my research into the practical effects of its operation have given me ideas for a different kind of chronon technology that works on a somewhat similar principle. Instead of, except instead of tapping into the Maya Joyce field, it generates a smaller localized field of its own, an artificial chronon, 
chronoparticle field. And within that field, we can manipulate chronoparticles at will. This means we should be able to create stutterproofing technology, allowing us to shield a certain area from the effects of zero state. And I believe I will be able to miniaturize the technology to allow for personalized devices with the same effect, almost like an environmental suit of sorts, with the harness the user would wear to create a chrono field around his body. There's still many challenges here. One of which is that the, any significant volume of stutterproof space will incur an unacceptably high drain on corona particles, which are a decidedly limited resource. Obviously, with the lifeboat protocol requiring a large stutterproofed area that we can maintain for years, quite possibly decades, this is a critical issue we have to solve, and Mr. Serene has made that quite clear to me. Frankly, even with Mr. Hatch backing me, the thought of disappointing Serene over this makes me quite anxious. I understand his concerns, and they are of course entirely founded, but the man's intensity is unnerving. In any case, I'm hopeful that I will figure out this problem soon. I'm hoping to be able to use the CFR itself to regulate the flow of chronon particles, given its nature. I suspect it might be eminently suitable for such a role in the lifeboat protocol and cut down our chronon consumption rate by a great margin. My control over the CFR is limited, but this seems to be a very basic functionality for it, so I'm optimistic that I can do it. I'm still looking into it, one thing at a time. We've already made great progress, and I will say that Mr. Serene's been quite complimentary with these successes, so I think he'll give us the time we need. Well, it's not like he has a lot of choice in the matter. I'll be honest, the CFR is becoming a bit of an obsession for me. I wish I could sit down and have that conversation and just ask those questions. How did he build it? What's it actually for? But I've been denied that opportunity. A part of me wants to open the CFR up and get to the bottom of it, but the potential consequences terrify me. We've already seen what it can do if unleashed. Even worse, there's the possibility that I couldn't put it back together, and just the idea of making a mistake like that is a potentially bowel liquefying thought. Having to explain that to Mr. Serene. No thank you. So as it is, I've only dared to open it up a bit of the casing to get a rough idea of some of the engineering inside. It's amazing work, and it has certainly been a lesson in humility for me. I still have a lot to learn, but I'm a very fast learner, and this has to be the most important work anyone has ever engaged in the histomy in the history of humanity. If we succeed in our mission, the world will not soon forget the name of Dr. Henry Kim. You know, if chronon particles are such a limited resource, the fact that they were stockpiling could have exacerbated the uh, the whole end of time. <laughs> he, he made his uh, title Data Samurai. Oh, you poor child, you. Is there anything behind? That This is how we get to the time machine from the CFR chamber here. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's take it. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it, and I knew it could fix the fracture. Yeah. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. Was dead. Yeah. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. Yeah, Human time machine. Time machine. We've got the core here. Yep, can go back Monarch in time. Monarch built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Where is Hatch's body? Warning, chronon radiation. Well, we're already flooded with chronon particles, so... What's a little more, right? We're, we're eventually gonna end up just like Paul. Stay clear! Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. Well, 
That's the hope, right? Uh, there's stuff around. What, what, what's this? Oh, rifle? Uh, yeah. I think we'll take this. Because this has more ammo. And if we're expecting a fight... Oh. Well, there we go. Never mind. Just forget I said anything. But it seems like we're probably going to be in for a fight here. Look at all this explosive barrel stuff. Yeah. Core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. Okay, this should do it. Deploying the corridor. Phase one underway. Please clear all personnel. Whoa! Sniper! Of course. Whoa, whoa. Take out the sniper! Come on! Shoot him in the head! Run! Take him out! Yeah, buddy. Nope. How about me? Ah ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! All right. I. Shotgun moving in. Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, God damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, of course. No, no, no. All right. I know they're around here. Dig you out! Boom! Nope, nope. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where is the jerk? There he is. Nope, nope, nope. Douche! Boom! Whoa, whoa. We got cut! Close airs. Come on. Nope, I don't. I don't want any of that.
Gotta move. Wow, there's no safe space here. Snipers over there? God damn it. Shoot the barrel. That's what I'm talking about. Any more? Are we done? We're not. The music's still going, but I need to reload. See any more enemies, though? Are we glitched? What would nobody is shooting at me? So, since no one's shooting at me, where are the enemies? Oh. Yeah, he was glitched. Oh, Travel back in time. Slow machine lady. <laughs> the machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. Oh. I would love to put in a date. Thank you. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the core was first activated. Indeed. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You be Sorry, I thought it was going to keep on going with the, uh, the talking, but I guess not. Oh well. Return to the university. This time we've got all our powers. Oh shit! Yep. Kapow! <laughs> yeah, bro. Hey, you lived through this. You should know where we are now. Initiated. Too late to stop it all before it ever started. Yeah. Not too late to save Will. All you had to do was get to him in time. Yeah. That was the plan. HQ, we've got security footage of the Joyce brothers escaping to the server room on the lower level. What is what this? Raider Team 3, intersect immediately. Ready another extraction unit to remove the core. God. God damn, damn ball. ball. What, is, what this? is this? 
Well, we know what happened there. Okay, gotta get to the library. Yep, because that's where we ended up. But you know, this whole scene was probably accounted for, Raider right? Team, Account ready to heavies in the underground parking. I'm not hearing any response from Raider Team 3. We may have a situation. Where the hell is that extraction team? We were supposed to have the core loaded in that chopper by now. Hatch was right. Should have sent Liam Burke in first to deal with those Joyce assholes. Directive was take alive if possible. Alive. Who shoot it? Hey, get. Oh, it's these. Go down! God damn it. God damn it. I guess I was shooting into his body armor, not his head, so... I don't know. That guy went down. Go here! Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! Shoot him in the head! There, now he's gone. How do you like them apples, bro? Douche! No, I don't think so. You go down. I remember that Will and I were heading to the courtyard when the stutter hit. That's where I needed to cut him off. All right, so let's head that way. Whoa, okay. All right, so it looks like I can grab their weapons. Or at least some of the weapons. Something over here. Chronon source? You never tried to stop Monarch from extracting the core. The fact that they stole it was the only reason I was able to return to the past. True. It's not a logic I wanted to mess around with. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let them take it, because then we can get back here like we're supposed to. What is... What is it... there. Is there also a Chronauts? Oh, there it is. Up there. Do I hop up? Yep. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so we've got six now. And I think I want to do the increased power for the time shield. I use that quite a bit. And if we get more, uh, what do we go for? I hardly ever use the time stop anymore. Uh, time blast? I don't know, maybe? This would be two plus six, that would be eight. And I don't think we're going to get that. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. Alright, so now where are we heading? That way. Is there anything out here? I'm gonna say no. Okay. Where? Oh, we're supposed to go up there. Wait, I don't see any objective marker. 
Time rush. Take him out. Doosh. face yeah bro whoops sorry just trying to reload and we're out of ammo yeah let's just go with the one that they're using there should be more of this ammo yep there we go picked up a little more all right so we're heading that away Got it. Oh. Alright. Time rush! Oh. Uh, I guess I was too quick with the time rush. Russian. Kabloom. Take you out. Take this guy out. Doosh. Come on, let's take him out! In the face! Take him out! Let's go! Who wants some? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Take that guy. Whoa. Alright. Rush. Damn it. I used up all my powers. They were all on cooldown. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, let's see. Come on, let's go around. Take this guy. Take him out. Doosh. Whack him. Whoa. All 
All right, let's take this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope. You go down. Eat the foot. All right. We're in a stutter now, so we gotta find the guy that... Whichever guy is still walking around right now. Whichever guy that would be. Huh. huh. Alright, I'm not seeing whoever is supposed to still be alive. Is it glitched again? Oh, there he is. Never mind. Stay sharp. Shit. Oh, time unfroze. When Will and I had escaped from the lab after the experiment, it seemed like Monarch was dealing with somebody other than us. That was me all along. Let me run and go get some ammo. He's here somewhere. Go find him. Yes, he is here somewhere. Nope. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I see you. Right in the face. All right. All right. Big jerk off here. Take that. Son of a... HQ, we spotted Jack Joyce in the student lounge. And it bore that... That shouldn't be possible. I'm getting reports of gunfire in the underground parking. Are you sure it's Joyce? I need visual confirmation. Yeah, did it's me. To me. Did you? Yep, not at all. Huh. What are we... Oh, okay. Over here. Got it. Gate control. I don't have the code. We will soon! Burke. Burke. The hell, the hell are you, are you doing, doing down, down here? Down here? There. Fuck, Fuck if I know. I know. Let's go see, go Wade. see Wade. Wade? Alright, so there's gotta be another dude around somewhere. Uh, not over here. Let's see. No, oh, I don't... I don't see any other conversation that happened. Uh, yeah, not that I could tell. Hmm. Hit. Let me just refill. Yep. Oh, already full, okay. Burke. Burke, the hell are you doing down here? They need me up there. Fuck if I know. Let's go see Wade. Wade. Okay, how do I get this up? That's what she said. 
there something down here? No? I don't think so. Huh. These things are usually straightforward. What's going on here? I said go let's go see Wade, but there isn't any more to that conversation. Like, what are we supposed to be looking for here? There's no other conversation force. Um, how do I obtain the door code then? Bro. Okay, that was... Machine gun. This is pistol. Pistol. Yeah, I can only see this, but it they don't give me the code. It says let's go see Wade. But what does that even mean to me? The hell are you doing down here? I need to get the pass code. need me. Fuck if I know. Let's go see Wade. Looks like they were. Oh, okay. I gotta follow them. Oh, over there. That's Wade. Get your team prepped for combat. I don't have a good feeling about all this. Damn it. I missed the code. Well, I happen to know what it is. Because I heard him say neighbor of the beast. So I do happen to know exactly what that is. That's 665. I know that from control. All right, well, let's do it the way the game wants us to do it. Burke, Burke. Find out. Civilian. Civilian. And they're going to end up over here. Come on. Let's go. There we are. Yeah, gate, yeah, gate code, code is, is 665. Six, 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 neighbor, neighbor of the beast, beast you know? 665. Know? <laughs> okay. For combat. <clears throat> yep, I remember that. Dr. Darling of Control told me that. We're not going to make it in time to uh, save Will. I already know. Just because, um, like, w everything that is being done is already accounted for. Like, in the, the flow of time. I'm not done with you yet. Paul Serene Focus Article. Paul Serene, Project Director, with a track record of extremely profitable business ventures behind him. Paul Serene joined Riverport University in 2010 to head one of the most scientific, significant physics research projects the university has ever seen. He is the youngest project director in the history of our university and by far the most successful to date. His involvement has encouraged a flood of high profile investments that resulted in the extremely ambitious yet unrevealed quantum physics project referred to as Project Promenade. In his own words, 
I'm not a scientist myself, and thus it may come as a surprise to many that I fought to obtain the position as direct project director development here at the university. For me, it's a dream come true. Growing up, my best friend was the brother of renowned quantum physicist William Joyce. I've always been fascinated by William's work, and his publications from 1997 to 1999 were groundbreaking for the scientific community. As a businessman, I've been able to shape a help shape a path to create practical applications for you Williams work by building on the foundation that he created with a group of immensely talented physicists that was the basis for project promenade and the results have been absolutely revolutionary Paul Serene's favorite sports team is the Riverport Rexes you can see him front row at every game okay I can't think that there's anything over here just because yeah it must be up above save right. will pick up this piece to the campus power last time he counted fucking way to bring the battery good we're just tearing through that parking lot ain't getting out here god yeah. damn it Gotta take this thing out. Come on, come on. Why won't it go out? Freaking want me to use my own. I don't want to use skill, I want to cheat. Let me it's cheat. Like plugged in somewhere else. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Burn it off. There we go. Uh, yeah, uh oh, this isn't good. What? Oh, that was us earlier. Yeah. Okay. I remember this from episode one. Uh oh. Door's still barred. Whoever's here ain't left yet. How the fuck did Joyce take out those strikers? He's obviously not alone. What was that? It's you. Bring me down. No! Shit! Nope, nope. Nope. Shoosh. Boosh. No. Get out of there. Take him out! Take him out! Whoa. Nope. I think not. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can do this better. Somebody's here! Oh, Alright, well, we take some of them. Take this one out! Smack him in the head.
All right, one of the big guys is down. One big guy is down. Yeah, take it down. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no! All my abilities! Ah. We're on cooldown. We're on cooldown. Ah, no, 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 no! Eat it! Nope, nope. Jerk off! Okay, uh. gotta get to the library. All right, now to the library. That away. Have to reach Will before it's too late. Yeah, you do. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Well, let's get going, Jack. Shit. Too late. I gotta beat him to the library. Yeah, I, I remember this. I got orders to patrol the rooftops. We already got men up there. And they want more. Take it up with Serene if you disagree. <laughs> she needed to be there, too. That's how, uh... She saved our butts. Uh, geez, where am I going? Get to the library. I remember this thing was, f like, fixed. Like, it was standing. Right, not this way. Oh, I see. I guess that's not an opening. Yeah, that's not an opening. Um. Hmm. I got orders to patrol the rooftops. We already got men up there. And they want more. Take it up with Serene if you disagree. Uh, do I just... Can we climb up on these things? <laughs> Alright, we can climb on this. Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. Got it. Okay. Jump! This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine Core in transit. There it goes. Yep, she saved us. Beth. <clears throat> right. 84% completion. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Gotta move, Jack. Roger. Keep a skeleton crew and wait for arrival of Monarch Actual. Everybody else needs to reunite at the Dry Docks Cronin Extraction Grounds. Wait for further orders there. Library is set to blow in five minutes. Jeez. We're not getting any response from the sniper unit. Investigating the rooftops as we speak. Sniper units? What? What sniper units, man? Wiped. No way he did that on his own. Ah, that was bad. We need to find out who's unaccounted for. This might be an insight. Hostile. It's him! Joyce is on the rooftop! Hang on! He's available. in the library! We're under fire! See that? It's your goddamn story. Where is he? Boom! My 
Too small of an area. I, uh... There wasn't enough place for me to recover. Alright, what if I cheese this a little bit? And I do... A little bit of this. Time rush! Douche! Take him out! Whoa. Alright. That was a little better than last time. I see you. No, 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 no. We're coming for you. No. Back up in the library, stat. This is Monarch Actual. Cancel that order. I'm on my way. I'll deal with Jack personally. You heard him. Stand down. All right. Uh, we gotta go in Hold this on, way. Will. I'm almost there. Open it. Nice. Kicking it down. Alright. Uh, we're not jumping that way, right? No. We're going this way. Okay, good. Okay, gotta get to the library. If Joyce is in the library, then who'd they spot up here? Don't know, but I'm- Who's shooting? Bob? It's him! Ha! <laughs> Man, that's gotta hurt to get a punch in the face like that. Take out one sniper. And let's rush through. Take this mother out. Nope, nope. Get back to cover. Sniper in position. Oh no. Take that. So it's just you and me, Sniper Boy. Yeah, you didn't even take cover. You were a dump sniper. Approaching library rear entrance. Oh no, no. Yep, this is where it happens. And we're nowhere near where we need to be. But it's it's all been accounted for. Stand by to detonate the library. I'm coming in. The only way is to take oh, out the explosives. Will? Already gone. Yep. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Uh, I don't know that jumping down that way is the right way. Will? There it is. Trigger. I never wanted this. Yeah, we were never going to make it. You can run. 
run, but it's not gonna happen, man. Oh, he did get him! Time stop! <laughs> I guess we didn't really ever see him actually get killed. We just assumed. Jack. What a revelation. Welcome back. Hey, Will. Here's a present. Countermeasure. How? Oh, Jack. Will! Come on! Come on, let's go. Ah. Monica had it the whole time. Does it work? Came back from the future. For me. The fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? In theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, the future. No, 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 no. It's the only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know. And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? And you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. That means that Jesus. Beth, Beth is always dead. Because what's, what's he done up to this point? Go. Sticks. And that means Beth dies. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, no egg metaphors. Yeah, we've had enough of those. Well, this is her. Oh, man. That sucks, man. She's not going to be able to come back. Oh, get down. Over here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, okay. I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past up. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes, so and the Novikov self-consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high-five about that later. <laughs> right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Yes, let's. let's. Yeah, get the... Get the frick out of here. Frickin' A. Okay, they're gone. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, live and learn, right? At least Will's still alive, so there's still a chance. All right, through here. We Nick, can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there, and there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack, our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. Indeed they did. That's exactly what they called it too. We have to go, Jack. We can't risk being spotted here. Well, just hold yeah. your horses, bro. I need a little bit of time. 
Here we go. Give me. Ronan Source. Thank you very much. Let's see. We've got... Oh, we've only got one point. I don't think we're going to be able to get much of anything at this point. Oh, this was Jack. This was us earlier. I think this is where we learned, uh, Time Shield. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Okay. They're jackals, I'm sure. Yep. There they are. And there's Liam. Well, hey. Carrying us. Unfreeze him. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, it's Beth. Listen to Will, man. You gotta let her go. What's past is past. She wouldn't want you to, to jeopardize everything. Yeah. It, it sucks, man. It sucks. But you gotta do what's right. Final moments. Oh, this seems like it's going to be the last of it. Oh. Getting goosebumps. Oh. Will alive? Dude. I did not foresee that. I did not foresee that. But it makes sense. We, we really didn't see him die. We just saw the roof collapsing, we, what we assumed was his death, but we never actually saw it. And us coming back and pulling him away from the debris? Yeah. Like you said, maintain. In this universe, the, that, that rule, that principle that you know, everything is accounted for, whatever you do in the past, uh, actually works out. So I guess, I guess that means that even if you try to do something stupid, it would still be accounted for. But you shouldn't do it because you've got a plan and you can't account for your plans can't account for things that you don't know will or will not happen if you do something stupid. So I don't know. They took Nick's car. That's how it got there. It's a loop, man. He was always meant to come back. He's the one that put the car there. Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young. And afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Yeah, I think uh, we'll save that for the next video, because that may be the last one. Yeah, we're 87% com complete. Um, or do we look here? And this is where we are. The oh, I think this is 87% complete of finding everything, which I didn't do, but I, I did make an a bit of an attempt. So... I think this is to 100% the game, 
And I think the storyline is up here. So yeah, I think we're nearing the end of the game. So yeah, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, the next video might very well be the last video of this game. And I'm, I'm a little sad to see it go, but it's, it's really been a ride. I hope you've been enjoying, and I hope you'll come back and join me for the next one. And until then, bye.